Hello everyone and happy Friday. Um, today I'm going to be making um, garlic and onion naan bread. Okay. First of all, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, you know, I fell in eating something different and I fell in trying something different. And they make naan bread in the store. You know, they sell naan bread in the store. But, you know, those things, they add stuff to it. There's additives in them to, you know, make them have a long shelf life. It's nothing like making your own. <laughs> so I'm going to be making my own naan bread, my own recipe. I'm going to put garlic and onion in the dough, and I'm going to... Uh, do it that way. I was looking at my phone. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just turn the camera down so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. It is Friday, y'all. I mean, it's the weekend. For those of us that don't have to work over the weekend, yippee. <laughs> you know, till Monday. But yes, um, let's get into um, making the naan bread. This is a process, guys. It really is. So yeah, anything else I'll need, I'll get that in a, in a little bit. But um, I'm going to start that process. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start that process right now. Maybe I need to get some water too. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, I um, I drink water like it's like it's going out of the style. <laughs> um, you know, so see the skin is drinking a lot of water. <laughs> That's what drinking a lot of water. So let's go ahead and get into um, the recipe for the for the um, the non bread. So what I have here, I'm going to just bring the camera closer. What I have here is one cup of flour, which I'm going to pour into the bowl. I have some um, baking powder, which I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, just a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to stir that nicely. I have a little bit of flour here as well, just in case I need it. So I got my baking powder and I have my flour now. I am not going to add salt to this because um, the butter that I'm putting in it has salt already, and I don't want this to be very salty. So, I'm, I have one cup of a cup of almond milk, which I put in this teacup because that's like a cup. And I'm going to add the butter that I've already um, beat. I'm going to add it to the almond milk. Okay. I'm probably not going to use all of it because we're looking at one cup of flour. So I'm going to take that and add it to my flour. And I'm going to stir that in. Now that is the almond milk and the, the egg. I mix, I mix the egg into the milk. I'm sorry, y'all. I mixed the egg into the milk. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a tad bit, bit more flour. When I said a tad bit, that, that, that's like um, a third. I added a third and a cup of flour. Now... I'm going to add my butter. Now, some of the recipes, um, 
Some people don't use butter in a non bread. But just feel like when you're making a dough, you got to have some kind of butter. I mean, you know, they use oil. I don't want to put oil in here. Um, I think for me, the um, now you see the dough has come together really nicely, very nicely. I think for me, the um, the butter is is better for me. So now this has actually turned into a very nice soft dough, and that is exactly how I wanted it. So now what I'm going to do, and it's not a lot, see, but it can make at least six nuns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little more flour because it is, it is sticky, you know. It is sticky dough. So I'm going to add a little more flour and work it in with my hands so that I can uh, knead it out. So now this is just so wonderful. <laughs> this is just so wonderful. This dough is just nice and soft. I'm going to just do just a little bit more flour while I need this dough. Why I need this dough. Now with this with this dough, I'm not going to let it sit. <laughs> um, I'm going to just go ahead and kneel it. Kneel it really well because I want to go ahead and add the garlic and the onion to it. So I'm just kneeling it really, really good right now. And of course... As you kneel, you have to add flour, but you know, with me, I don't add a lot of flour. I just add enough, you know, so my hands won't get so sticky, right? Okay. So, yep. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Like I said before, it's the weekend, y'all. It's the weekend. You guys enjoy your weekend. Now the dough is really, really coming together because it has to be like when you try to pull it apart, it has to be like really, really kind of stretchy. Um, so that's what I wanted to actually look like. I'm hoping it can make six knobs, but we'll see. We will see. And you know, one of the things to making a good dough is actually using very cold butter. Um, but with this recipe is non bread. So the butter was semi cold. It wasn't extremely cold. And this dough is just whew, really, really nice and soft. All right. So I think I have it where I need it to be at this point. So, I'm going to just spread some butter over it, what I'm doing right now. I'm spreading some butter over it. And I put some butter in this in this um, plate. I'm going to set the dough right there. You see how, see how nice it is? Very nice. Get this out of the way. I actually didn't even use all the um, butter. I didn't use all the egg, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to overwhelm the dough. So, hi. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, wash my hands now, and um, I'm going to do the next step. Now, this is not your regular non where you know they let the dough sit two and three hours. I'm not using any yeast or anything like that. This is a no yogurt, um, no yeast non-bread is what it is. No yogurt, no yeast non-bread. And you know, you can make non-bread a lot of different ways. 
And non bread is something you can eat with. Um, you can make wraps. You can eat it with tuna and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to clean my surface. I'm just going to clean up the surface so that I can roll the dough out. And I'm going to show you guys how I the, the combination, excuse me, the combination of putting the um, the onion inside the dough and the garlic in the dough. In the meantime, I need to get my pan ready. Because like I said, this dough that I'm making, I'm not letting it sit. And when people make non bread, a lot of times they uh, have something called a tandoori. Um, the tandoori is what you put the you cook the bread in, or you know, however they do it. Well, I don't have a tandoori. <laughs> So, I'm doing it in my big, big frying pan here. And um, what I did was I just smeared the, the bottom of the frying pan with some butter. That's basically it. So, right now, I'm going to flour my surface. I'm flouring my surface right now. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to put the camera down. I'm flouring my surface and I'm going to put my dough on there. Nice. Do a little bit more flour. Need it just a little bit more. Yeah, I, I really don't have to let this sit. I don't have to let it sit at all. But I think it's going to taste, it's going to taste awesome. I know it is. So, now I got to go to the store and actually buy some more stuff to um, make wraps and stuff, you know? Because um, my, my next grocery haul is actually going to be from all these and I am super excited about going to all these to um, the shop. I, I went there a long time ago, but it's been a while since I've been to all these. I haven't been there in a while. So I'm looking forward to that grocery haul. I am really looking forward to it. So what I'm getting, guys, is a knife, knife here. And I'm going to flour the knife just a little bit so it won't stick. Everything won't stick. And I'm going to cut... The dough right now. I don't know if it's gonna mix six guys. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll see. Yeah, so we're gonna make at least five none, okay? At least five. So there we go. Get the knife out of the way. And for the first time, I am using my new roll-up. <laughs> this is new for me. This was well, not new for me, but it's the first time I'm using it because I'm just opening it, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm gonna use this to um, and it's pretty. <laughs> I think it's pretty. Put a little bit of flour on it. And put a little more flour on the um, surface right here. Now this is, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just roll this out. Roll it out nicely. I want it real clean. It's kind of sticking to the, um, kind of sticking to the, to the rolling pin, but that's okay. That is just fine. Now, over here, I have my garlic and my onions that I cook down. I actually cook it with the with the peelings on there, with the, the shelving on there. So I'm just removing those right now. 
and the fragrant from the garlic is just awesome. So, as you can see, I have the garlic, so I'm going to press it down in the dough. Okay? I have a little bit of onion, which I'm going to press down in the dough. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of onion. So, this is going to be a garlicky, very, very garlicky naan, and that is exactly what I wanted. Just going to roll it in the dough. Oh, how nice this is. Yes. I'm going to roll it in there. So over here, I have this pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, butter this pan up. Not butter it, but, you know, just put a little bit of flour in here. Because I'm going to put the, the naan in here before I put it in the frying pan. As you can see. It's really, really thin, guys. <laughs> really, really thin. Really, really thin. And that's that's how you actually want it. It's coming up. It's thin, but it's coming up. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to just sit it in here, right there. Sit it right there. And we're going to do another one. I just need to add a little bit more flour. And flour this up real nicely. Got a little stuck there. All right. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Getting stuck. So let's flour this up real good. Okay. There we go. So we don't have that issue. All right, so there I have my garlic. I'm gonna put into the dough some more garlic and more garlic. I have onions that I'm gonna put into the dough. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna roll it inside the dough. Yes. Get that in there. Roll that inside the dough. This is this is a nice one. All right, number three. There we go. Okay. Got to, got, got to keep flowering this pin, y'all, because stuff is gonna stick. <laughs> it's gonna stick. So I'm rolling this out. This is my. This is this is number three. Non bread number three. There we go. Sticking, sticking again. All right. It's kind of messy, ain't it? <laughs> A little bit. Don't bother me, though. I hope it don't bother you. But I'm adding the garlic and the onions. Now, you know, guys, everybody has their own choice of what they want to put in their body, what they want to eat. You know, God made us all free agents so we can eat what we want. We just have to use wisdom. And sometimes we pray while we're eating it. You know what I'm saying? So, this is another one I'm going to put over here. That was number five. So now I'm going to, number three actually. <laughs> so now I'm going to do number four, not number four. I'm going to clean all this up. Y'all know me. I do not, I don't like dirt. Dirt is not a part of my, my vocabulary. I'm going to wash my hands just a little bit. This is a little too sticky. Wipe it off. And then let me start with some flour. Just to get rid of all that stickiness. All right, so let's roll out the naan. This is number four. Oh, you will stick, won't you? There we go. Gotta add more flour. <laughs> all 
All right. There we go. So now let's do the garlic. Let's do the garlic and the um, the onions together and roll it in. Roll it in. We're going to roll that right in. And you see, guys, they love to stick, don't they? All right. So let's roll that nicely. All right. Put that over there. Okay, we got one more to go, y'all. One more to go. And get all this leftover flour. Add more flour to the surface and my my rolling pin. And I'm just going to roll this dough. We should refuse to stop sticking to this pin. <laughs> oh, more flour, y'all. More flour. More flour. All right. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to add the, add the last of the garlic to the dough. Last the garlic to the dough. Yo, I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to smell this. I cannot wait to actually taste this. It's going to be awesome. I know it is. So this is my garlic non, garlic onion non bread. All right. Just washing my hands there a little bit. Oh, so sticky. All right. So let's roll it in. Let's roll it in. Now, I am ready to get this in the oven. So I'm going to put the camera back up. Not the oven, in the frying pan. <laughs> so before, but before I do that though, y'all know me, I have to clean. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm going to clean this mess up. Why I, um, yeah, why, um, while I'm cleaning, I can talk to you guys a little bit. Yeah. So let me know in the description box below what you guys going to do over the weekend. You know, I love to know, you know, let me know because, you know, as for me, I'm really not going to do anything. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I'm going to be studying for my state board exams. I am in the process of getting my real estate license for the state of South Carolina. Okay? And uh, that means I can practice real estate anywhere in South Carolina. Get referrals. It's all about the coins in 2019, guys. All about the coins. And praising God in the process. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited. You know, I yesterday I had a very productive day because I did a lot of advertising yesterday. Because I actually have a wedding service that I do full service budget weddings. And um uh, I will put any information that you guys need to know. I'll put it down below so you can see. Go to the website. I have a 15-page website where I um, have everything combined. That includes my catering and my um, my pastries. Um, I offer a dessert bar. Can't talk about the price of the dessert bar. You got to check out the website, guys. But I'm excited about what 2019 is going to bring because I advertised with the knot. I was already on Wedding Wire, so I did. I just revamped my page. Um, I've had three weddings, three customers actually, from Wedding Wire. Um, and I actually have one. 
I actually have one wedding coming up this year with a client from Wedding Wire. So it's been good. Then um, I went to wedding.com, advertised there as well. So if you're looking for me, you may not see me quite yet because they have to actually put it in their system. But yeah, it was a very productive day yesterday because I needed to do that. I I missed my walk <laughs> yesterday. I did not walk yesterday. Today I am going for a walk today for sure. I'm trying to make it like a 15 minute walk. Walking very fast today. That's the that's the plan. So I'm gonna do a little bit of workout today. And that includes my, uh, that includes walking. Yeah, so I am, I'm, I'm excited. Like you guys know, I'm, I stay excited about a lot of stuff because I know that God is doing a lot of things in 2019 and it's already started, you know? It's already started and, you know, things I've been speaking and hoping and praying for. It's all coming into light right now. Sometimes you got to go through things before you get to where you need to be. If you guys are, I'm not, I'm not religious, okay? But I'm spiritual. But if you guys go, if you guys know about Moses and the uh, children of Israel, they had to go through the wilderness, right? To get to the promised land. So, that's how I see it, you know. You got to go through some things to get to where you need to be, you know. So, that's why God made us all free agents. He gave us choices. And it's up to you to choose what road you want to go down to. You can make mistakes. You can you fall, you get up. You know what I'm saying? You fall, you get up. You don't fall and stay down. When you fall, you get right back up. And keep it moving. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm just going to put the flour up in the um, baking powder. But one thing I know for sure that um, God is a provider. He provides for me every day. This is how I look at it, you know. God feeds and instructs the birth of the air every day. He orders their flights. He orders their steps. So, he's ordering mine. <laughs> so I know he's going to order mine and, you know... But just be careful what you ask for. Be careful what comes out of your mouth. Because if you keep asking for it, you will get it. Speak nothing but speak nothing but positive thoughts, uh, positive words. Try to have nothing but positive thoughts and ask God to renew your mind daily. Because the devil can mess with your mind big time. I live alone, so that happens to me on a daily, but I fight it back with everything I have because I never let it move, go any further than what it's supposed to. So I pray every day that God renews my mind and order my steps. And when I do that, my mind is so clear. And me being on this fast has really opened my eyes to a lot of things. The situation with the family re family reunion, them not taking things seriously, um, making me feel like I was not capable of hosting a reunion. Um, and it was not my intention to um, do this by myself. Everybody would have been involved. 
but I don't think that people really okay. have that notion or, you know, think that I'm able to do this. So, you know, it's whatever. I've moved on from it. It's hard not. It's hard to forget though, because the people that's supposed to be your family, and they come at you and make you feel like you're insignificant and you're not able to do what you said you're gonna do. So that's pretty much how they made me feel, and you know, it's. I'm at a point now where, you know, sometimes you have to remove yourself from people. You have to remove yourself from a situation. There'll always be family. Yeah. But, you know, you have to remove yourself from, from certain situations in order to move forward. Then you got to put it behind you and let it go so that you can be blessed and move on. So that's basically what I'm doing. All right, guys, so I'm going to put my non in the pan right now. I'm putting it in the pan. And I think I'm going to do one at a time because I want to make sure that I get all the edges properly cooked. Yeah. Go in. Yeah, I want to make sure I get all the edges properly cooked. And it is doing its thing, guys. It's doing its thing here. It's doing its thing. Excitement is in the air. <laughs> this is actually my first non bread recipe. First one in. You know, I'm excited because even though I don't eat tuna anymore, I um, I use the um, I actually use the the chickpeas. I make chickpeas tuna, and this with some chickpeas. Oh, because you can do the chickpeas in a way where. Oh, heck yeah. You can do the chickpeas in a way where you can uh, actually have it taste like tuna. Now, for the vegetarian side of it, you can actually do the, um, you can do, hmm, I forget the name of it, but it's in a can. <laughs> I forget the name of it, though. But, um. You can use oyster mushrooms. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can use for that. Oh, yes, yes. This is looking so good, guys. I am excited about this. It's looking so awesome. I'm going to let you guys take a look at it, okay? This is it. This is the naan. My recipe... No yeast, no yogurt, and that's how I wanted it. So I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it uh, brown just a little bit more because I want that burnt flavor, that kind of burnt taste on there. At least from the garlic and the onions, and just for the simple fact that I have garlic and onions in the dough. Oh, can you imagine? I can't imagine. <laughs> But yes, it's going to be awesome. I'm trying to get it to burn a little bit more. Yeah, awesome. So the stove is extremely hot, so I'm going to take this one out. Let me show you guys again. See that? Very nice. So what I'm going to do right now at this point, I'm actually um, using, 
I'm smearing the um, pan with a little bit of butter because I don't want it to be, even though it is supposed to be dry, like I said, this is my recipe. And so far, it is turning out perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm putting a little bit of butter in the in my tandoori. <laughs> in my frying pan. I don't have a tandoori, guys. So I'm going to put the next one in. Looking good, looking good. I have the next one in there. Oh my goodness. If you guys could only smell this, I mean, it is just, I'm not going to taste it right now. Today's not a fasting day, so I can if I want to, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to wait. I am actually loving the way that this has turned out. Really, really loving the way it turned out. And thanks, you guys, for being with me today. I so appreciate it. All my lovely subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming, for watching me again. And um, so the, if you're new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, tell everybody Royalty 56 has a video up and you need to watch. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to get a little bit smoky in here, but that's okay. The stove is very high, which I'm going to turn down. Oh, yes, I love that burnt flavor. Love it, love it, love it. It's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I want it. All right, guys. So this is the second one. It's the second one. Put that right there. So now we're gonna do non number three. We're gonna do a little more butter in the pan. Little more butter in the pan. Not a lot. Just a little bit. And this is now, now number three. Non bread number three. Going in the pan right now. Now, the lady you hear in the background, if you can't hear anything, I love the Food Network. I can watch this network all day long. Excuse me, and that's what I have going right now. So, if you hear, you know, something in the background. It's uh it's Miss Jadia on the Food Network. Uh, the last video I had I asked you guys to tell me who your favorite Food Network star is. I want you guys, if you're watching today, I want you to please tell me who your favorite Food Network star is. I love to know. But I've seen before I love Bobby Flay. Uh, I love the um, Barefoot Contessa. I like Guy Fieri, if I said that correctly. <laughs> um, let's see who else I like. I like um, I like to watch the kitchen as well. I love uh, Iron Chef. Um, uh, Mario, I haven't seen him in a while, but tell you, I like him. Uh, let's see. Sunny Anderson. I like her. Um, what's her name? Alex. Alex Verma something. That's her name. <laughs> I like her. She's really good. So tell me in the box below who your favorite Food Network star is, okay? Tell me in the description box below who your favorite Food Network star is. Those are my favorites. 
I like all of them, but hey, let's like get some good recipes from them, you know? Get some good recipes from them. Really, really do. All right, so guys, this is the next this is the next piece of bread, non bread. This is the next one, okay? As I said, I love the the burnt the burnt on there, that flavor, and the little bit of butter that I use is gonna give it even more flavor. So I'm gonna put that back. Just that's hot. So that's ready. That is ready. Now, I'm going to do number four. Number four. Non-bread number four. Putting a little bit of butter in the, um, let me bring it closer. I'm putting a little bit of butter in the um, pan. Everybody don't do the non-bread the way I do mine. For the people that, that have done it before I do mine different. Put this in here right now. So, and wait for this to go ahead and start cooking up. This is my first non bread recipe. I'll put the recipe uh, in the description box down below. Um, it is non flat bread with garlic and onions. So it's non garlic and onion bread. <laughs> and um, I'm doing I'm, the the recipe. I the recipe that I have calls for five non. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Five non. If you of course you can double the recipe if you want to make more. You can double your recipe. Uh, this can actually be put in the freezer. It can be frozen, you know, to keep for another day. You can make some awesome tuna, eat it with that. I don't eat tuna, however, I do eat chickpeas. I make chickpeas uh, salad and I can eat it with that. Um, you can make wraps, lettuce wraps, um, just if you, eat, if you eat ham and meat and stuff, you can do that. I personally don't, don't do that, but... If that's what if, if that's what you want to do, you can do that. Absolutely. But this is my recipe of the naan. And this one's kind of stubborn, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. So, that one broke. <laughs> it broke on me, but it's still okay. Still okay. Still okay. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I do appreciate you guys so much. This is the naan bread that I made. Awesome. It tastes awesome. As a matter of fact, I'm going to taste it right now. All right. That's what I said. Yeah, garlic and onion. Absolute good flavor with the butter. Just give it even more flavor. And it tastes so awesome. This is my garlic and onion naan. I thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please like, share, and subscribe. Join my family. I love to have you. Turn on your notifications so that whenever I post a video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wherever I am in the world, wherever you are in the world, God bless you. Be safe. And until my next video, bye-bye and thanks for watching.